everybody welcome back to creole kisses diary i hope you're all having a great and fabulous day today i heard some really sad news grammy award-winning songwriter lashawn daniels passed away at the age of 41 and he passed away this morning it was reported that uh the that he was possibly allegedly in an accident but the actual cause of death has not been confirmed publicly he was best known as appearing on uh, Tamar and Vince's show. He has written lots of songs for many, many artists. He's wrote for Destiny's Child, Beyonce, Tony Braxton, and many, many more. It's sad to hear the passing of LaShawn Daniels. He died at a very young age. Anytime I hear about a death, it's just very heartbreaking. I'd like to send my condolences and prayers to the family of LaShawn Daniels, especially his wife, April Daniels. They were very, very close. And I know as his wife, as his best friend, she is really, really going through it. So I pray that she uh, endures this very, very sad time. If you're not familiar with LaShawn, I'm gonna share with you some of the songs that he worked on. I'm gonna share that here. So LaShawn Daniels, he was born December 28th, 1977. He was born in Newark, New Jersey in the United States. He won a Grammy Award in 2000 for songwriting Say My Name by Destiny's Child. He was nominated in 2013 for the song Love and War, which was performed by Tamar Braxton. He also guest appeared on Natalie Wilson and the SOP Chorale Act Like You Know, uh, T-Bones, Can I Live, So Plush, The Fact That You Lied, Brandy, Like This, Gotta Have Gospel, Gold, Still Blessing Me, Nelly Furtado's Parking Lot, and Erica Campbell's I Love God. Here are a few of LaShawn Daniels' demo tracks. Um, Wake Up by Dark Child, Lights Off, and more. He worked with Dark Child. I'm not sure if you remember, Rodney Jerkins worked with Brandy years ago on a lot of her tracks. As you can see, the list just goes on and on. He has worked with Michael Jackson. He's worked with Mario and some others. He was really well known within the music industry. And we will forever cherish his beautiful music. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Please be safe. And until next time, stay positive. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, you guys, I'm back. I have an update regarding LaShawn Daniels' death. So his wife, April Daniels, confirmed that he was indeed killed in a car accident in South Carolina on Tuesday morning. So yes, uh, he died tragically during an accident. So I'm done for the night, you guys. I'm going to share some tweets from colleagues and friends that shared their thoughts on his passing. Okay. Have a good night. Bye.